Introduction of Microscope. History, Types of Microscope, Parts and Functions. What is microscope? A microscope is an instrument that can be used to observe small objects, even cells. The image of an object is magnified through at least one lens in the microscope. This lens bends light toward the eye and makes an important or makes an object appear larger than it is. History of the microscope. Who invented the microscope and why? A Dutch father's son, team named Hans and Zacharias Jensen, invented the first so-called compound microscope in the late 16th century when they discovered that if they put a lens at the top and a bottom of a tube and look through it, objects on the other end became magnified. What discover the microscope? Anton van Leeuwenhoek created powerful lenses that could teeming bacteria in a drop of water. Another, Robert Hooke discovered cells by studying the honeycomb structure of a cork under a microscope. Next, Marcello Marpigi, known as the father of microscopic anatomy, found in taste buds and red blood cells. Father of microscope is none other than Anton van Leeuwenhoek. Types of microscope. We have compound microscope. It is a high power or high magnification microscope that uses a compound lens system. It has a multiple lenses. The objective lens, typically 4x, 10x, 40x, or 100x, is compounded and multiplied by the eyepiece lens, typically 10x, to obtain a high magnification of 40x, 100x, 400x, and 1000x. Higher magnification is achieved by using two lenses rather than just a single magnifying lens. Difference of simple and compound microscope. First, we have simple microscope has only one magnifying lens and no objective lenses. Another, we have a compound microscope. A compound microscope has two magnifying lenses like ocular and eyepiece and objectives. Types of microscope. The section microscope is used to view three-dimensional object and larger specimen with a maximum magnification of 100x. This type of microscope might be used to, an, to study external features on an object or to examine structures not easily mounted onto flat slides. Another type of microscope is scanning electron microscope or SAM. Because of its great depth of focus, it provides detailed images of the surfaces of cells and whole organisms that are not possible by transmission electron microscope. It can also be used for particle counting and size determination and for process control. Another type of microscope is transmission electron microscope, or we call them TEM. It is used to view thin specimen like tissue, sections, molecules, etc., through which electrons can pass generating a projection image. TEM is analogous in many ways to the conventional compound light microscope. We have parts of microscope here, okay? There are three major parts of the microscope. First, we have lenses, arm, and base. Okay, please 
um, enumerate the different parts of the microscope. Number one, we have body tube. Number two, stage. And number three, fine adjustment knob. Four, coarse adjustment knob. Five, diagram. Six, light. And we have seven, objective lens. Eight, we have also revolving nose piece. And number nine, we have ocular lens. And number 10, base. And 11, we have stage clips. And 12 is arm. Let's move now to the function of the microscope. We have ocular lenses or ocular lens. Ocular lens magnifies where you look through to see the image of your specimen. And they are usually 10x or 15x power. Microscopes have an ocular lens power of 10x. Another, we have arm. Arm supports the tube and connects it to the base. Next, we have stage. Stage is the flat platform where you place your slides. Next, we have course adjustment knob. It moves stage or body tube up and down. Next is fine adjustment knob. It is a small round knob on the sides of the microscope used to fine tune the focus of your specimen. Then after using the coarse adjustment knob, you will use the fine adjustment knob. And then we have base. Base is usually located at the bottom of the microscope used for support. And we have also body tube. The body tube connects the eyepiece to the objective lenses. And we also have revolving nose piece. The part that holds two or more objective lenses and can be rotated to the easily change power. Okay, next is add to the magnification of objective lenses. Usually, you will find three or four objective lenses on a microscope. They almost um, always consist of 4x, 10x, 40x, and 100x power. We, when coupled with the 10x most common eyepiece lens, we get total magnification of 40x. 4x times 10x, you will have 100x. 400x and 1000x. When we say x, it is a magnification or a total magnification of an image when you look at the, the organisms under the microscope. The shortest lens class is the lowest power objective or the LPO. And next is the medium power objective, objective rather, the MPO. And we have also the high power objective. The HPO lenses are retractable. Another lens is the OIO, the oil immersion objectives. Okay, the oil that is used during the oil immersion objectives is none under them. I mean the special oil, which is the cedar oil. So this means that if they hit the slide, the end of the lens will push in or spring loaded, thereby protecting the lens and the slides. Another parts or function of the microscope is stage clips. It holds the slides in place. If your microscope has a mechanical stage, you will be able to move the slide around by turning two knobs. So one moves it left and right, and other moves it up and down. And then we have iris diaphragm. It controls the amount of light going through the specimen. So many microscopes have, have a rotating disc under the stage. So this diagram class has different size holes and is used to vary the intensity and size of the cone of light that is projected upward to the slides. Next, diaphragm is a setting is a function of transparency of the specimen, the degree of the contrast you desire and the particular object lens in use. Next, we have light, okay? Light makes the specimen easier to see. 
Okay, that's all the parts and function of the microscope. Okay, class, please memorize these, um, the different parts of each microscope and their functions. Okay, please memorize this one and this one. Okay, thank you very much and God bless. Don't forget to copy this in your notebook. Thank you and God bless again. Bye.